In the last video, I showed you how to put resources onto your Moodle course so that students can read, in this case, a Word uh, document, or maybe I'll put a PowerPoint in there, or a video, or any kind of file that you can transfer from your computer up to the cloud in Moodle can then be viewed by your students. In this case, I, I uploaded a Word file, and in order for my students to be able to visit or to view that, they would need to have Word on the device that they are accessing the Moodle course with. Now, that's probably not a, an issue if they are at home using their computer, but increasingly our students might be using, say, their phones or an iPad or some other device to access the Moodle uh, materials that you're making available. If that device doesn't have Word on it, in this case, it wouldn't be, the student wouldn't be able to see this. There's a way around that, though. And what we can do is, is use the, the power of the web and the cloud and our Google Apps accounts to do that. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So I'm going to leave Moodle for just a moment and go to my Google account. And what I'm going to do is upload that Word document to my Google account. So if you have folders in your Google Drive, you want to choose the folder into which you want to upload that. So I'm going to put it in this ITC folder. I click this little button right here that says Upload. Now I'm using Chrome. With Chrome, you can upload individual files or folders full of files. If you want to upload folders, you have to use Chrome. If you want to use uh, just upload files, you can use any browser, but in this case, uh, with Chrome, if you want to upload a whole folder full of files, which can save you a lot of time, you need to use uh, Google Chrome browser. I'm just going to upload that same file from before, so I'm going to go Upload Files on my desktop. It's right here. It's the Word document that we used in the last video. I'm going to upload it. It doesn't take very long. And there it is in my Google Drive. Right now it's just a Word document. If I wanted to edit it, I would have to open it with Google, uh, the Google Word processor. But I don't really want to edit it in this case. I just want to be able to share it with my students who don't have Word. So what I'm going to do is select it and then click Share. I want to change this access pri uh, privilege to, from private to anybody or anyone with the link. And then I'm going to copy that and hit done. I'm going to go back to my Moodle course now and I'm going to add a resource. In this case instead of a file I'm going to add the URL that I just copied. Okay, now I need to give it a name like I did before. I'll say Muddy Waters Bio. Maybe I'll tell the kids it's in Google. Again, the red asterisk lets me know um, that it's something that must be filled in. I'm not going to display that description, but here's where I'm going to paste that URL that I just copied. Again, I'm going to switch it to open so that we don't hit, run into any problems with the width of the window and hit save and return to course. Now when my students come to this uh, Google or Moodle page, there's a couple of choices here. Maybe now that I've done this I would get rid of the Word document, so I'm going to click that and delete it. Um, but now my students will click on this link, which will give them access to the document in my Google Drive. The nice thing about this, when you do this, um, if I were to make some changes, let's say, to this document, if I make the changes in my drive, since it's linked the, the Moodle link goes to that dot file in my drive, it automatically changes it here. So if I make changes to that same document, to this one, um, while it's in my Google Drive, I don't need to remove it from my Moodle class and put the new one in there. It will automatically change it for me. The nice thing about this, you might say, well, what's the benefit of that? The nice thing about this is the visitors, the students, do not have to have access to Microsoft Word to view this now. All they have to have is internet access and they would have internet access if they're visiting your Moodle page because you need the internet to visit Moodle. So this makes your files that you add device neutral if you will or even software they're independent of the need for software. Um, you can upload any really anything to your Google Drive and then link it this way so it could be a video file or it could be a PowerPoint or it could be a picture um, really, your Google Drive functions like a hard drive in the cloud. So anything you can upload to your Google Drive, you can share to your students uh, by making that link um, 
accessible to anybody with the link and then putting it into your Moodle course. Um, I think you'll like this. Once you start doing this, you might have to convert things and upload them to your, to your Google Drive, but once you do this, uh, you'll get around any of those issues where students can't access something because they don't have the right software. I hope this helps.